Here are some things that are fast. Cheetahs, fast. Jet planes, fast. Colin, go. Not really all that fast. IMG Academy athletes, fast. Lacrosse, the fastest game on two feet. And the lacrosse team at IMG Academy, arguably the fastest in the nation. That's fast. Playing this fast doesn't happen overnight. There's a science to playing this fast. There's things that you have to do on the field and off the field. So we're packing our bags and heading down to IMG Academy to learn more about the science of playing fast. In order to play fast, you have to practice fast. So that was our first stop. Come on, play fast, let's go. You have got to think, move the ball. This is Coach Mark Burnham. He played at Syracuse in the 80s. Well, the playing style I try to bring is uh, one I grew up with. And this is Coach Matt Kerwick. Before this, he was coaching at Cornell. We're trying to teach them to play at a pace that, that they're going to be playing in college. We're taught here to get the ball in your stick and out as fast as you can. The ball moves faster than your feet. It's probably an old cliche, but the ball moves faster than anybody can run. After we pass, we always cut. We're always exchanging, moving off the ball. We have a bunch of transition drills. As soon as the ball is saved, people are breaking out to their spots looking upfield, getting the ball hot, and moving it upfield. And then it's off to the races. And we give everyone the green light. You have to have a mindset that every single drill I'm going to play at speed and, and play as fast as I can. It's a fun way to play, it's a great way to play, and it's a, the way the game should be played. <laughs> how you doing? Good, Good man. How you are you? Good. Good to see you. How, how you guys Matt? been? How you doing? This is Matt Wheaton. He's the strength and conditioning coach for the lacrosse team at IMG. We're looking for the individual who can sprint five yards, turn on a dime better than his opponent. Speed is a technique, speed is a performance quality. If you train fast, you will be fast. We had Matt take us through one of the team's workouts that focused on speed. You'll notice we're wearing these patches on our arms. We'll explain later, but for now, all you need to know is science. Can a car go from zero to 60 instantaneously? Answer is obviously no. Matt's saying that in order for your body to go 100%, you'll need to start your training at zero and then work up to 100. Tibia rotates out, knee rotates in, ankle, most underrated joint in the body. Again, lacrosse players, need them. And we're gonna move in a multitude of directions and lacrosse never moves in one direction. 60% of your max speed by the time you hit that 30 yard mark. Good, hit, return, hit, return. Reaching 80, reaching 80. Now we're moving laterally, right? We're talking about multi-direction. That's what makes the beauty of lacrosse. Let's get to 90. Plant, reset, plant, reset, push. Push. Yes, sir. On you. I think you had me in the beginning there. I think you came through at the end. Overall, good workout. Fast play isn't just about having quick feet and a good stick. It's also about making decisions, the right ones, in the least amount of time. One of the big things that we talk about here in the Mind Gym, basically see, think, and do. If we can get you to see the visual cues quicker, you understand what they mean, it helps you to go out there and actually act on it faster. And your fastest was 0.28 on your visual. This is called a Dynaboard, and this is what it helps you with. It was able to pick out those visual cues, maybe look for that open man or look for open space, and then be able to act upon it. The Fit Lights take it a step further, testing your reaction time, and requiring you to move your entire body. Well, you got 15 hits in that time, and your average reaction time was 1.6 seconds. Here's what the fit lights can do for your game. If it was a higher light to defend it and try and block a passing lane, or get up close on an attackman, or if it was on the ground, you would have to dig it up like it was a ground ball, but every time you had to drop back into a ready position. Our biggest takeaway was that when we calmed down, took a deep breath, and slowed our mind, our scores improved and we got faster. If you want to play fast and you want to get the best out of your body and mind, it starts with the fuel that you put in. If you're not fueling up the right way, uh, with as hard as we train and as hard as we practice, you won't be able to finish it. Coach Kerwick is saying that if you want to play at this level, at this speed, you'll need to fuel your body properly. And everyone has different needs, especially in lacrosse. At IMG Academy, studying the individualized needs of athletes is happening every day at the Gatorade Sports Science Institute, also known as GSSI.
Our mission is to help athletes through research and education in sports nutrition and hydration. In order for Colin and I to play fast, our bodies will need to be fueled differently. We went to GSSI to learn what we need to perform at our best. While we were on campus, they ran us through two tests. Remember these from earlier? They were collecting our sweat. Every athlete has a um, different sweat rate and they lose different electrolyte amounts. So replacing both the sweat that they lose and also the electrolytes they lose can be very important to helping them maintain performance. Next up, the fuel profile test. If you could think of yourself as like a car that runs on two fuel tanks, one where you use fat for fuel and one where you use carbohydrate for fuel. We want to see how your body uses each of those fuels, especially the one for carbohydrate because as an athlete, uh, that's your primary fuel source for intense activity. Four, three, two, one. Now grab the side rails and hop off. Grab the belt. Oh. All right. Don't push the red button. Don't push the red button. <laughs> After both tests were done, Melissa ran us through our results. Samir, this is yours. Colin, this is yours. During the hour that we were training with Matt, both Samir and I sweat about a liter of fluid. To provide context, that's about an entire bottle. The key here is that athletes need to replenish both sodium, a key electrolyte lost in their sweat, as well as carbohydrates in order to perform at their best. Every athlete is different. Focus on you and your needs. Because this is a piece about doing things fast, let's recap the entire piece fast. If you want to play fast, you have to practice fast. That starts with your mindset. You have to train fast, and fast doesn't happen right away. Build up to fast. You need to think fast. When the pressure is on, take a deep breath and focus in order to make better decisions quicker. And in order to do all that, set yourself up for success. Replenish the fuel your body needs to perform at its best. There's a science to peak performance, and there's a science to playing fast be a student of the game. This was the science of playing fast, fueled by Gatorade.